Osaka, Japan. It is said that people in Osaka spend more money on food than anything else. They have a saying here, to eat until you drop. To eat so much that you cannot take another bite. So I have come to Osaka on a mission. A mission to try all the best traditional food that Osaka has to offer. So let's go eat. First up I have come to the trendy neighborhood of Kitashinchi to eat Kitsuni Udon, which is a popular dish in Osaka. I have come to one of the best udon restaurants in Osaka called Suwu Tomtan. Kitsuni udon is a noodle soup with a large chunk of deep fried tofu. Kitsuni in Japanese means fox. Legend has it that the fox's favorite food is deep fried tofu. Now I'm not sure where you find deep fried tofu in the wild, but somewhere out there there's a kingdom of happy foxes chowing down on that magical tofu. Next, I head over to Osaka JR Station to eat kushikatsu, another popular dish in Osaka. I visit a restaurant called Kushikatsu Daruma, a chain of kushikatsu restaurants in Osaka. Now this restaurant is really popular, with a queue of hungry people waiting out the front. At lunchtime, it takes close to one hour to get inside. Anything deep fried tastes good. That is why kushikatsu is ranked highly on my best foods of Osaka. Kushikatsu is pretty much that. Anything stuck on a stick, meat, seafood and vegetables, wrapped in breadcrumbs and deep fried. At a kushikatsu restaurant there are these communal bowls to dip your kushikatsu in. Now there are very strict rules when it comes to dipping in the sauce. Only dip once. No double dipping. It is explained on the menu and the restaurant staff explain it to you again when you sit down. No double dipping. If you want extra sauce on your kushikatsu, and there are large bowls of cabbage leaf which you can use to scoop the sauce up and pour over your kushikatsu. Again there are strict instructions not to use your chopsticks to dip the cabbage. Only use your fingers to dip in the sauce. Right next door is another popular restaurant called Momo Tara, which specializes in okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is a Japanese pancake filled with loads of different savory ingredients. Okonomi basically means what you like, and yaki means grilled. My okonomiyaki was filled with bacon, cabbage, shallots, egg, potato, and some spicy kimchi. Delicious. Next I head to the busy Dotonbori district of Osaka to eat one of my favorite Japanese meals, yakiniku. Yakiniku means grilled meat. This restaurant is called Showa Taishu Horomon. Horomon is the traditional Osakan yakiniku. Horomon in the Osakan dialect means to throw away. This is all the cuts of meat that usually gets thrown away, like intestines, heart, liver, and stomach lining. Now this restaurant doesn't just serve horomon, they have all the high quality cuts of meat too. At each table there is a coal-fired barbecue with a chimney above to draw away the smoke. You cook your own food, grill up the meat, then dip in the various dipping sauces.
I have left my favorite Osakan food to last, takoyaki. The place to come for takoyaki in Osaka is in Dotonbori. Dotonbori has loads of takoyaki shops, each with their own huge plastic model of an octopus, proudly on display above the restaurant shop front. Takoyaki are octopus balls. Now these must be some pretty big octopus because these balls are huge. Well in fact these octopus balls are a doughy mixture with a piece of octopus in the middle. They are grilled on a special metal plate, topped with sauce and shavings of bonito flake. Takoyaki are crispy on the outside, gooey inside, with a chewy piece of octopus right in the centre. Every time I visit Japan I always get my fix of takoyaki. You find it all over Japan, but it originally comes from Osaka. So that is mission accomplished. I cannot eat another bite. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this tour of the best food in Osaka. If you have enjoyed the video, click on the like button below. I have plenty more food videos coming soon, so please subscribe to my channel, and happy eating everyone.